Greetings and salutations everyone, Dark Twitter World Productions here. Today I'm going to be explaining the My Singing Monsters community and what it is. I will also be explaining different types of islands, with of course some examples. First, before we actually get started though, I'd like to introduce the game first. My Singing Monsters is a mobile and Steam game created by the company Big Blue Bubble. What you do in the game is you collect monsters on certain islands and they form a song based on what island it is. The first kind of island are elemental islands, aka natural islands. Well, at least some of them. Natural islands are islands with up to four elements. For example, we have Plant Island, which is the first island you receive in My Singing Monsters. The four elements on the island consist of earth, coal, water, and of course, plant. On Plant Island, you would have to breed the monsters that have one of these elements. Let's take Mammoth and Toe Jammer for an example. Mammoth represents the cold element, and Toe Jammer represents the water element. And when you breed Mammoth and Toe Jammer, together you get what is called a maw. Say you breed Mammoth and Toe Jammer in game, and you now have a maw. Congratulations. Now, I will explain what maw is. Maw is what we in the community like to call a double elemental. Since it comes from two single elemental monsters, it now contains both elements from, from those said monsters. The maw has the cold and water element, and now you are wondering about the other elements and want a triple elemental. Let's now add Potbelly as an example. Potbelly represents the plant element, and if you breed maw that has the elements cold and water with Potbelly which has the plant element, you now receive Bogart, known as a triple elemental. Bogart is a triple elemental monster that has the elements cold, water, and plant. And if you want to go further and breed a quad, then the only quad elemental on Plant Island is Entbrat. In this case, for Entbrat, you'd have to breed Noggin and Bogart together. Real quickly though, Noggin represents the Earth element. If you breed a Noggin and Bogart together, you get Entbrat, which has all four elements, Earth, Cold, Water, and Plant. There are a total of five elemental islands, one of them being Plant Island, which I just described. There is Cold Island, Air Island, Water Island, and Earth Island. The natural islands besides Plant Island has the element air on it, which comes from Tweedle, whom of course represents the air element. Now that I have told you how natural islands work, let's talk about an island known as Ethereal Island. Ethereal Island works sort of the same as the natural elements having five elements and having a breeding system. But instead of the regular and natural islands, it has the following elements. Plasma, shadow, mech, crystal, and poison. Each of the single elemental ethereals also reside on a natural island. For example, the poison element monster, known as Humbug, re resides on Earth Island, but after they reach level 15 in-game, they can now be teleported to Ethereal Island. Ethereal is what we like to call a teleporting island because you can teleport ethereal monsters from one of the natural islands to ethereal island. Another great example of a teleporting island is Mythical Island. Mythical Island is very similar to ethereal island, except mythicals on the natural islands have the same element. These being Jijube, Strombonin, Yostrich, Anglo, Yehehe, <laughs> and Cherubal. But there is an exception when it comes to Mythical Island. Itself. A monster that resides on Mythical Island known as Catalysts does not represent the mythical element, but the dream element, yet it's still classified as a mythical, so uh, yeah. On Mythical Island, a mythical elemental and Catalysts can breed to make a double elemental, which are known as Dream Fickles. D dreamy Fickles. I, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that. Well, now let's get to the more complicated islands, also known as Zapping Islands. Wubblin Island is a prime example of a zapping island. This isn't any breeding or anything like that. You must wake up a monster on Wubblin Island by using the egg of another monster. Say you have a bro, who is one of the most easiest Wubblins on Wubblin Island to wake up. The brump needs six fur corns and two frogs. So, just like breeding, you need to breed the respective monsters to obtain these fur corns and frogs. Like for example, you will breed Potbelly and Mammoth to make a fur corn. You may you breed Noggin and Toe Jammer to make a frog. Except, you don't move on to the hatching process from the breeding process. Instead, 
you press this button and you zap the eggs into the broth and after you meet the requirement which is 6 fur corns and 2 frogs, you have officially woken up a broth on Wobblin Island. Now for the so called Fire Island in which so far we have Fire Haven, Fire Oasis and Amber Island. Fire Haven and Fire Oasis are like the natural islands, only with the fire element. The monster representing this fire element is also known as Kana. Fire Haven consists of earth, plant, air, and fire, while Fire Oasis contains of cold, water, air, fire, of course. Fire Haven and Fire Oasis have the breeding mechanic, while Amber Island, on the other hand, is a zapping island only with every single fire monster in existence, whether that would be Kana, Double Elements, Triple Elements, Quad Elementals, and last but not least, Quint Elementals. Quint Elementals are monsters with five elements all in one monster. Sadly, there isn't any known sex double monster. I am sure the monster handlers will find them darn sex double elements sooner or later. And what you guys just heard there was the explanation of the My Singing Monsters game. Now for the community. What the community likes to do is they like to make their own sort of elemental, teleporting, or heck, even zapping islands. Like for example, let's take Cartoon Island for example. One of my favorite fan-made islands ever to, well, have ever been created. It is a masterpiece made by Butterfly and it's been passed down to Team Awesome. I'm going to show you snippets of both versions. And, well, I don't know, you can tell me which one you like better after this, I guess. Anyways, yes, I will show you the snippet of Butterfly's cartoon out first, and tell me what you guys think. <laughs> Next up is the Team Awesome version. Enjoy. Now that I've shown you Cartoon Island, I get to introduce you to fan-made elemental islands. Now, I unfortunately do not know about any teleporting islands, unless there is one that I do know about and I'm just too stupid to realize. Let's go with one of my favorite content creators, aka MSM tubers. Yes, I know, it's weird, but that's what we call YouTubers here. If they make a My Singing Monsters content, we call them an MSM tuber. Anyways, let's go to Mantis Girl. I get to introduce you to the monsters. I'm not going to give you snippets of the island or island examples, just the monsters. But just to give you a little bit of an idea of how this whole fan made thing works around here. Truckus represents the rubber element, Bit represents the space element, Zebus represents the hypno element, Slapoda represents the radiation element, and last but not least Tom Shroom, which of course by the looks of him, <laughs> duh, represents the shroom element. But wait, don't go just yet, I have a bit of a surprise for you. There is this also little thing in the My Singing Monsters community called Six Elemental. The Six Elemental is a entirely fan-made concept off of another fan-made concept. But, folks will like to make their Six Elemental, their fan-made Six Elemental, and they can come up with anything they want. Whether that be copper, or, or in this case, life force. I get to show you a little bit of a snippet of what we've been up to on the channel. We've done some six elemental work ourselves. We have this monster named Strolling, who is part of the life force element. Well, who represents the life force elemental, I should say. We've done a lot of cool work with the help of some of our friends. Now, some of these friends consist of JBC Productions. Check him out, definitely. He's been a massive help. Nova, who originally gave us this element. And, of course, Rebecca. Six elementals consist of, well, making your own island with three official, well, official elements. So, say for an example, we make Life Force Stratos, in which I'm going to play a little bit of a snippet for you. That consists of the rubber, space, and 
Hypno Elemental, along with Life Force. Life Force Stratos is a cloudy-like island, which is up in the clouds. Cloud? If you would like to check out the whole thing, just subscribe to my channel. So that's everything we know about the My Singing Monsters community, and it's a lot of fun being here. A lot of people are supportive, and really, it's just a lovely place to be in, honestly. Making nice fan-made songs for the community while just straight up having a great time. Yes, there is some drama-related things, but as long as you don't get into them, you should be fine. Just subscribe if you want to check out our other videos. You don't have to, just you can if you want to. Anyways, bye! bye.